Hi, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, a.k.a. The Marketing Meathead, and today we are going to talk about uh, getting our hosting and WordPress site up, and then after that we're going to start adding some content to make our site ready to go for marketing uh, with an affiliate offer. If you have not watched part one, two, and three of this series, go back and watch those. Uh, this will make a lot more sense if you've seen uh, us select a niche and then a domain and then actually go in and work on a logo. Okay, so today I wanted to get started by, um, I, I like to use GoDaddy. I said I keep all my domains in GoDaddy. I did put a link below for Namecheap and another link below for um, Bluehost. Uh, if you're just getting started, Bluehost is a nice option. You get a, you get a free domain. And I think you can get hosting for like $3.95 a month. I think you got to sign up for a certain amount of months uh, for that. And then there's um, one-click WordPress install, which makes things real easy as far as hosting and whatnot goes for the newbie. Um, personally, I'm going to go ahead and use GoDaddy just because that's where I have an account already. It's just easier for me. So um, first thing I did, I went on to Google and I um, searched... Uh, GoDaddy promo codes just to see if I could get any money off because usually domains are around 12 bucks so GoDaddy uh, I just typed in GoDaddy promo code right there it comes up and um, what came up was um, I clicked on this one 50% off May coupon code and then that got me to this thing that says coupon has been activated and then um, when I went to check out, it dropped it from like eleven ninety nine to ten sixty seven, just because I'm a past customer, and um, I think because I can't use the ninety nine cent domain. But there's, if you never had a GoDaddy account, you can get one of those coupon codes where I just showed you, and you can get a domain for like ninety nine cents. So probably go down that road. It's a cheap way to get a domain. Um, Namecheap's another way to get a cheap domain, and then of course you get the free domain with Bluehost with my link below. I got a link for Namecheap below as well. So I'm going to complete the purchase. This is an account that I already have. Um, it probably won't ask me for a credit card. Um, it's asking me a couple questions here. Like health market. No, I don't want to do a trial. It's asking for a trial here. Thank you for your order, 1067. Um, we're just going to go here to click manage my domains. All right. And we should see it here. I have a bunch of domains in here, but it should be down in here. Leafy fresh greens, where to go? There it is. LeafyFreshGreens.com. So we now have this uh, domain uh, thing. I'm going to take it off uh, auto renew for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this past a year, but it's definitely not something I need for sure right now. I'm doing this more for demonstrations. Uh, and then I'm going to come right back with my business partner, and uh, we're going to show you how to set this up on a VPS server. Um, you know, if you go with Bluehost, it's not going to be a um, probably a dedicated server. I like to set up my domains with an SSL certificate, so it's like HTTPS, uh, and it looks a lot more legit to the average customer and to Facebook. And then um, we run a VPS, which is a lot faster server. So we're gonna show we're gonna show you today how to set it up on a VPS, kind of like a professional setup. Uh, it's not my forte. I have a developer, two developers that work on my team that do all my setup for for me. So I'm going to bring them on and they're going to show me how they do it because I don't normally do it. I just say, hey, listen, can I get this done? It gets done. Uh, but I think it'd be a good thing to show you guys. This will be a nice video you can come back to when you're ready to go to the next level and use a VPS. Uh, they'll, you know, this is a nice reference point and it'll give you a nice tutorial on how to set it up. So uh, we'll be right back with uh, Ross, my developer, and we'll set up the VPS. All right, so here we are today. We're going to go ahead, and I'm with Ross, my media buyer. He usually does a lot of my setup for the, uh, the web um, sites and whatnot. We're using a service called Liquid Web. We're using them for our VPS server. Uh, Ross, v VPS, what's that stand for? That means uh, virtual mm -hmm. private server? Yes. Okay, so and it's a lot faster. Um, it's obviously a lot more expensive. But we get um, a unique IP address for each domain. We also get the HTTP 
HPS certificate, which is a secure site, and then it's uh, just a lot faster overall for um, you know hosting. So um, you know when you're starting out, you can just use a cheap uh, you know GoDaddy hosting or even Bluehost is fine, uh, just a you know like a shared server. But this one is like our own server, and it's a lot faster. So um, it's a little bit more of a complicated setup. So that's what we're going to show you guys today. Um, so you got the real deal set up here, not not just the uh, the Bluehost one-click WordPress. This is like a real VPS setup here. So let's go ahead and get started, Ross. You're going to kind of show me as we go here, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, the first thing we have to do is once you're uh, walked in into Liquid Web, uh -huh. uh, you, would, you would like to know the Liquid Web VPS, uh, the, the Liquid Web DNS uh, server. So you have to go over domains on the left side. Mm -hmm. Domains. I clicked on it. Let's see, it's a little slow. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then, yeah, the DNS zone, the tab that says DNS on the okay. top. Mm -hmm. and then, okay, so these are, uh, I just scroll down a little bit. Uh, over here, down here are the Liquid Web DNS name servers, as you can see them. Liquid Web's name servers down, yeah, this right. column. Mm -hmm. So you have to just copy this uh, onto the GoDaddy's uh, settings. So yeah, you can copy this. Too, huh? Yeah, you can just do those two and then go to uh, GoDaddy. Okay. I'll just put them here in like a little notepad. Okay, yeah, that's even better. GoDaddy. All right. I should already be logged in here. GoDaddy. Okay, <clears throat> then I go to that domain and I just put those name servers in? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the sign in, and you might might like to uh, stop recording your video. <laughs> you yeah, guys, yeah, I'm going to the other screen. Okay, I'm in. All right, then we go to domains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can click the, this. Or I don't think it, you have to click over your your profile, Brian, where it says Brian. I oh, think. yeah, then up here, the manage domain. Manage domain, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it will ask you to sign up again. Yeah, Jeez. just. Uh, Okay, we're in. nice. All right, so where's the leafy green one right here? Uh, you got to go down to set name servers. Uh, yeah, manage DNS actually. Manage DNS. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna see down down here. Change. Yeah. Change then click custom. Uh, from uh, from the drop yeah drop down. And this, this is where you put those in? Yeah, the first one on the first line and the second one on the second. Okay. Copy, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now uh, the wait time for propagation is like four minutes to 24 hours. Okay. But it's pretty fast usually. So now we have to uh, copy the domain name. Just the domain name. You scroll, yeah. Uh, over here, it's below DNS management. Yep. Yeah. So we have the exact name. And now we have to set up our uh, VPS server. Now, once you're here, uh, over here, it says create a new DNS zone. Um, okay. Uh, no, where it says domain name, you see like uh, a little bit, yeah, where it says example.com in the box. Right here? Yeah, and then you paste. Now, okay. we have IP addresses, a lot of IP addresses, and we have one certain IP that we use uh, sites for WordPress websites to be attached to this IP. So when you click that, you're going to see all the IPs okay. that are attached to our this is our IP, so we have like sites on each one, okay. but we usually use um, we usually use seven two. Let me see which one. I think the seven two one thirty. Yeah, is this one we use uh, in general. So 
you can select this one. This one right here? Yeah, just give me one second. I'm going to check to be 100% sure that we do not assign to something else. But even though we can change that later on, but let me just make sure we are good to go. I'm just going to check on my end uh, real quick. Uh, if you want to check, actually, maybe for the people so they, sh they know, you can check. Um, it's kind of, you can go to, uh, you can scroll up mm -hmm. yeah, in the liquid web. Scroll up and then click just overview on, on the left sidebar. Yeah. And then click on the VPS serial, the server, the actual server, the plus, yeah. And then from the blue menu, click web host manager. And you might want to blur your screen again or move it. Oh, you have to click advanced and then proceed. And then you're gonna, uh, they wanna, they will require your password and uh, um, login, user login. Okay, and this is where I put in. Uh... Uh, I can send it to you if you don't have them. Yeah, I don't have them. Oh, okay, so hold on. Uh, okay, let's. See. I'm logging in right now. So the username is. Should I Skype you? Yeah, Skype it. Okay. So this is. The, so this is the username. Hold on, Skype. A user. This is the username. Okay, you got it? Uh, I got the username and then and the password. password is this one. One second. Um, oh, I can't see the password. Why? Uh, space holder. Oh, okay. It's one second. Text. Oh, the password is your uh, regular one. This one, capital. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Okay, you can drag over. Now, from the uh, uh, search box on the left side, left sidebar, you see you have a sidebar with a lot of options. Menu. Yes. In the search box, you simply type list accounts. So it's going to list all your cPanel accounts. Okay, the first thing, yeah, list accounts. Now, this is what, here is where we see what, uh, all the websites we have and which one is attached to which uh, IP. So you scroll down and, uh, okay, we see all of them. And now, uh, as we can see, it's, we're on the right IP, 72, 130 on the end. Right. Uh, yeah, this one, and we have another website. 7 to 130. So this is the IP we use for, as you can see, it's used a lot of times. Uh -huh. so that means we are using it for a, just a box size. We're not using it for important websites like Bachelor of Vegas. So, okay. yeah. So this is just to make sure you can leave this window open because we might need it later on. Okay. Uh, the next thing you have to do is like uh, maybe open a new tab with Liquid Web so we can add the domain name now that we know and we are certain that we're gonna use this IP address. Okay. So let's go back to Liquid Web. Uh, yeah, just, no, but you leave this window open like that. Uh, yeah, okay. I left, I left uh, I duplicated it, so. Ah, okay. Yeah, because we might need it. And then, again, customer walking on the left. Uh, menu, it's left top uh, corner, yeah. Okay. Okay, now uh, we have to go back to domains on the left side bar. Yeah. Domains. And then DNS on from the tab, second tab. Okay. So now we can co paste the domain name here in the domain box where it says create a new DNS zone. Yeah and then attach it to the IP we checked, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. And then we click, uh, no, a create new DNS zone, down the button, yeah. So let's see, yeah, the default A record will point to, yeah, we're all 
correct? So create new DNS zone. Okay, let's see. Okay, when you scroll up, uh, we have to see the domain name. You, you can paste the domain name in the search box. Oh, I see it, I think, on the bottom. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, and it's green. I think it's propagated already. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, using, yeah, liquid web name service already, so it's okay. pretty good. Uh, now, just make sure you can open a new tab and paste the domain name to see for certain that it's pointing to liquid web. Always double check. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, something. Can you delete the. Maybe it's pointing to liquid web, but this is not what. Okay, I think it's pointing to liquid web. This is a default message. Right, right. It's from the server. Um, okay, so the next thing is we have to go to list accounts again, the tab you opened, uh, the, sec the first one. Yeah, okay. just click refresh. So I want to see, we have to see because sometimes the domain is added to a different uh, IP and let's make sure that we see the domain name here. Oh, I think we have to create an account. Okay, so now we have to create first a C panel for this domain name. So um, if you click, no, it's everything is done now in the web host manager, okay. yeah. And I'm just making sure, okay, so now to add an account, just if you type in the search box account, account, uh, it should say create account, oh, oh, here, down here, account functions, if, as you can see, create new account is the second one. Create new account. Yeah. Create new account. So yeah, you paste the domain name here. Okay. Uh, username, if you click, it should populate the same thing. Yeah, and the password, give it maybe your general password. It won't show it to the people, so you can type it right now if you want. Okay. Yeah, so we know it's the general password and we can change it or we can walk in after that. Sure. All right, then we have a, we have to choose a package from the... Do you have to put an email in here or no? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, okay. we own the server, so... <laughs> uh, so, we, uh, so the package is something that's super advanced, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, just go with default. This is the cPanel functions. Uh, the okay. default one is just fine. Uh, if you scroll down, let me see the uh, cPanel team. Can you click the cPanel team instead of uh, paper uh, lantern? What kind of other options we had here? Oh, it's just this one. Okay, that's this fine. One. Yeah, and then if you scroll, walk on my exchange. Uh, yeah, I think that, that should do it. And then you scroll down and just click create an account. Create, okay. Mm -hmm. And it should be right away, yeah. The account is created. Now we have to go and type in the search box IP usage. IP usage? Yeah, in the search box again on the left, yeah, IP. So we have to see where this account is redirected. IP, oh, oh no, I don't see it. Okay, and just IP, leave it like that to IP. Uh, IP functions, as you can see down here. Mm -hmm. And then show IP address usage, yes. Okay. okay. Now let's see, uh, do we see the new domain name? On, yeah, I see it on the bottom. The 72130, all these websites yeah. are, mm -hmm. oh, so we're super correct. So now we go to list accounts again from the search box. List accounts. So usually I and we walk in from here to cPanel. Uh, if the people are gonna sign up to GoDaddy and do like the easy setup for the cPanel, they're gonna have just a walk-in in GoDaddy, uh, pretty simple. But here we just go, we find our website uh, where it is. Right here. Yeah, and then we click on the cPanel actually, not this one, on the icon. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the icon. If you go back, the icon cPanel, the actual icon. Where okay. it says CP, oh, CP, where it says CP, the orange one. This one. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. All right, so it redirected you. Now we, we want to install WordPress. Mm -hmm. We have to scroll down to the very bottom, usually mm -hmm. each, each panel. Yeah, soft craft installers, WordPress, we click that. Should I click <clears> on WordPress? Yeah, we click on WordPress. And then we have um, install now on the right side, the blue button on the right blue. This one? Yeah. Okay. Now we want to first make sure that and you click the HTTP and make sure this is on the right side. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right from the menu. Uh, not menu, but the fields on the right. Right here? Yeah. Uh, HTTPS, yeah, and then delete the WP because usually a trust is wasn't okay, so you can leave it to HTTP and then liquid automatically will assign HTTPS. Okay. So for GoDaddy, you have to actually install install the SSL certificate yourself, or you you have to ask the support to install the certificate for you. <coughs> yeah, um, GoDaddy, you can just call up and they they walk you through it. I've done it before. Yeah, yeah. So we leave the directory like that. We give a name of the site instead of my book, maybe Leafy Greens or this can be changed later on, but still, it's good to have it from now. Yeah, Any you can. Yeah, you, you can change to the place where you can find all about green living or whatever, you, you know, just a motto or something. Yeah, this is important for Google. Well, we're not really using this one for SEO purposes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So the admin, you have to change that to your uh, username, your password, and yeah, just make, a, yeah, you can drag the window. And, and you can put anything, like any email there, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, usually it's good to put your own email because right. if you forgot your password, let's say, uh, you can reset it after that. I want to save this too, right? Yeah. You can put like for admin Brian2358, something like that to be like instead of admin because admin is super general and it's like hackable. Hackable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll put something else here. Yeah. I just need to save it so I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 800 passwords, you know, it's like you can't remember everything. I know, yeah. Well, I mean, even if we forget it, the good thing is like we own the server, so I can go and change that. Yeah. But yeah, but still it's, it's better to just reset it because it takes time to change the password from the server. All right, so yeah, that's that. We got that. And this is the email, okay. Okay. All right. Save all this. All right. And then I should be able to just click. Uh, is it the last thing I need? English. And, uh, do I need to? I can select a theme right now, but we're going to change it. No, no, yeah. Well, that's, that's it usually. When you scroll down to the bottom, it should Just say, click install? Yeah, install. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's an install button on the bottom. That's it. Boom. Now, if you go to the websites from the links on the left side, left in the middle, uh, not very left, but in the, mm, yeah. Right or, here. Yeah. Okay. It should be, we should see, oh, we see the same thing. Okay. Maybe it's still not a propagated uh, like it's supposed to, or it should some need some work. Uh, if you go to the WP admin, let's see. Oh, this one worked. Yeah, that's weird, but the other one didn't work. Yeah, the other one, I don't know why it shows this thing. Uh, the WP admin is working. Yeah, the WP admin is working, and if you go, can you go back to the the site? Visit site? Mm-hmm. Huh. 
Yeah, let me walk in just real quick and see what happened. Oh, I missed the counts. One second, I'm just gonna walk in right now. My leafy, leafy green is okay here. I think there is a folder in the root of the domain name that mm -hmm. it kind of redirects uh, public HTML. CGI bin add, uh, it's CGI bin. This one was called CGI bin, right? The where it redirects if you click uh, the website. Visit site again? Uh, yeah, the visit the site. The URL, what does it say? The, Oh, you're here. CGI system. Okay, I think I find what's causing that. Yeah, it's it's some kind of folder. It's picking mm -hmm. up some other folder on the server. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, etc. Works. CGI. If I rename that, copy that. I'm gonna delete that. Let me see if I can delete it. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Uh, can you try again? Sure. But yeah, delete the, the rest of the URL, just leave the yeah. domain. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know, that's strange. Well, it's redirecting you right to that. Yeah, I think I had this same very same problem uh, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, but either way, I have to reach out to the support and see. I think they did something because you're seeing the you're seeing the the, the dashboard, right? The WordPress admin, you're seeing it. Yeah, the WordPress, the WP admin's working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you go to appearance on the yeah, and then oh no, not appearance settings. If you go to settings down, it's on the very bottom almost, and then uh, permalinks. If you agree that come uh, HTTP, mm, it should be okay. It doesn't redirect to the right thing. What about that HTTPS? Is that something Liquid Web would normally do later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh, type now just HTTPS. If you agree, yeah, I don't know why the CGI shows up. If you type if you type it with HTTPS here, somewhere on a new tab. Uh -huh. Yeah, just type S. Yeah, let's see. Okay, now it's green. Okay. So now it's working. Now it's working. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, for the HTTP, I have, to, yeah, we have to reach the support for sure. Let me try to reach out to uh, the site from here. Uh, can you? Okay, I'll try to open the site from my laptop. But now I can <clears throat> I can go in and upload a theme. I can yeah. uh, I can pretty much start working on it as far yep. as mm -hmm. getting, it, getting it up to. Uh, okay, I think it was about the configuration because for me now it's open fine without and with the HTTPS. Oh, okay. So if you open it to a new tab without the HTTPS, like a new incognito actually. All right, let's do that incognito. Yeah, probably you have some cache or something. Incognito, yeah, you can open your incognito and then paste without the HTTPS. Yeah, like that. Just like this, it should mm -hmm. work. You should able, you should be able yeah, to. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, perfect. With and without a HTTPS. Yeah. So, so as we saw, the HTTPS is automatically assigned to the website. From okay. and it's free, by the way. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, each and every site has it for free from Liquid Web, but because we have the VPS, and we gotta deal with them. I think I was on the chat support, so they proposed. Um, yeah, it's working yeah. with the HTTPS too. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. All right, well now I can go in and uh, I can go in and, and do uh, my WordPress uh, theme upload next, and we're gonna go ahead and add some content, a couple side banners. And uh, we'll see everyone in the next video. Thanks, Ross. Thanks. Bye-bye.